This week is Food Allergy Week. And it's a time to raise awareness for the more than 250,000 young people across Australia who live with some form of diagnosed food allergy. Now, this is a really personal thing for me because three of those 250,000 children are my kids. And having been a parent of children with allergy for more than 10 years now, and there are some things which I've come to understand which I didn't appreciate at first, having not really grown up with food allergy myself. And I wanna help you understand and appreciate some of that right now. For starters, living with food, food allergy is tough, um, but it's not necessarily tough in the way that you would expect. Uh, I think about the fact that I think most people get, all right, it would be logistically difficult in some ways to make sure that you're always cooking the right foods, that you can't uh, you know, just go out to a restaurant, for instance, and buy anything that you like off the menu because it may have ingredients that you or your relatives or friends cannot eat. So I think sort of it's understandable that there are physical difficulties with that and that's an immense challenge. But the longer I live and look after my kids, the more I start to realize actually much more than the physical challenges of living with food allergy, I think it's the social challenges that are much more difficult to work with. You see, in every society and culture around the world, food, meals, um, you know, these are the kinds of things around which we gather socially. If you want to have a chat with someone, you don't usually just meet up randomly. You say, hey, let's go grab a coffee or, you know, a, a, a dinner or a lunch. This is a, a normal way to bond with your friends or your colleagues or form a relationship with someone who you don't know. Maybe you want to get a business relationship with them or become closer friends. Now, because food is sort of integral to all of those different kinds of meeting, we sort of forget that when you have someone with food allergy, there are lots of those kinds of interactions that become, rather than something joyous and relaxed, um, they become a cause for concern, a, a cause for sort of questioning yourself and, oh, am I going to be able to actually meet this person? Is it going to be really awkward? Uh, it, it becomes a cause of anxiety rather than one of joy. And so I guess what I want to say to everyone across Australia is that food allergy is something which has a deep and profound effect on who you are, the way you relate to others, um, far more than you would think. Uh, we eat so many times a day and for someone like me, I often don't think that much about what I myself am eating, but for those with food allergy, they don't have that luxury and it's something which I've started to appreciate more as a parent. So I guess what I'd love everyone to be conscious of is that food allergy is something which really drastically changes your life and it's much more common than you realize. So spare a thought. Think about those 250,000 young people. There's actually more than half a million uh, young people and adults across Australia who have a diagnosed form of food allergy and recognize that these are people who want to be inclusive of our relationships and uh, family networks um, just as much as everyone else and sometimes it can be really helpful to be aware of their specific needs. People with food allergies aren't always going to be in a hurry to point out that they have food allergies because it can be a cause of anxiety anxiety and many people don't understand. It would be lovely if we didn't have to think about that. If we could actually say, yes, I know you're going to appreciate the challenges that I go through. So please, this Food Allergy Week, think about the people around you who might be in this situation and be understanding. Reach out to them and try to understand what it is that their life is like as they go through their daily uh, meals and interacting with people. Cheers, guys.